Hello viewers, today I am going to show you an interesting case of a peroneal tendon subluxation. Uh, this is an uncommon cause of uh, lateral ankle pain. Uh, and not only the patient has got pain, but also uh, they complain of snapping uh, when they walk or run. So now the gentleman we have is a medical student who is studying uh, with us, uh, was trying to sprint and um, felt a pain. And now he's presenting to us after five months with complaint of pain and uh, uh, popping sensation on the outer aspect of the ankle. And I will show you uh, how to diagnose this. Now, peroneal tendon uh, subluxation can be associated with uh, peroneal tendon tears as well. So, if you do an MRI scan and then if there is any tear, you can see a splitting of the tendon which also requires addressing. Now, majority of the times you can treat them with short arm, you know, cast, below knee cast um, uh, for around 6 weeks and the superior peroneal retinaculum which is torn which is responsible for this uh, heals and patients are usually fine. Um, this gentleman unfortunately is uh, still struggling 5 months down the line and he is complaining of pain across the lateral side as well as sensation of popping. Now when you do a test, the test that you do is you ask the patient to dorsiflex and evert. So this and evert but if you ask, see this gentleman, he just puts plantarflexion and dorsiflexion, you will see this tendon. If you can focus here, just put plantarflexion and dorsiflexion, you can see this. So this sensation, you can see this, the tendon is popping from the retro, uh, you know, posterior aspect of the uh, fibula into the anterior aspect. So whenever you have got this subluxation, it is usually associated with pain. The typical position where we do the test is dorsiflexion. We ask the patient to dorsiflex and evert. So ask them to bring it upwards and outwards. So if you can do that, please. So as he does it, you can see the tendon has subluxed. So this is how you diagnose a peroneal tendon subluxation. So this was a demonstration on how to diagnose a peroneal tendon subluxation. Um, there will be occasions where you will not see frank subluxation, but if you have uh, retromalleolar pain, especially on the back of the posterior uh, lateral malleolus, a thing as peroneal tendon tears um, as one of your differentials, uh, especially if uh, there is a sporting injury. And if you examine the lateral ligamentous complex and if it is fine and if still there is pain on the back of the posterior malleolus, usually it is the peroneal tendon uh, which is the responsible cause. They usually get better with cast but there are occasions where you require surgery um, and usually after surgery um, they can return back to sports and their routine activities. So thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please press uh, the like button and please do subscribe and share our channel. Thank you.